One, Uhuru asked to state his stand on DP's 2022 presidential bid, and the other, Jubilee plans retreat to rally members behind the Big Four agenda. Remember, Jubilee Party has been making uh, the front page headlines since Monday, and of course, it has to do with that perceived the perceived cracks in that party. Uh, <coughs> Very many people, uh, members of that party have come out to say there are no cracks. It was a storm in a teacup. It is done. We're now comfortable and all this. But the uh, headlines still persist. And now, Rift Valley Council of Elders have challenged President Uhuru Kenyatta to state whether he still supports Deputy President William Ruto's 2022 presidential bid. Now, that's a very risky uh, uh, place for the president to go. He has already said, and he had already declared, yes, as far as Jubilee is concerned, our succession plan is covered for the next 20 years. 10 years for myself, Uhuru Kenyatta, and then another 20 for my deputy, William Ruto. Another 10 for my deputy, William Ruto. Now, asking him to come back and restate that at this point in time, are there risks involved for the president? Uh, I leave that uh, question to my brother Wamatangi, <laughs> because that is their area. Mine would only be advisory. That uh, on a matter like that, uh, Deputy President should prevail upon his elders that however difficult it might appear, let them leave it to Deputy President to sort out with Uhuru. Because Deputy President has 100% access to mm -hmm. the President. He can then uh, face the President and tell him, you know where we are, you need to throw in one good statement for mm -hmm. me because people are starting to to get confused with the rumor and all manner of things. But when it goes like that, they, they are simply reinforcing the perception and narrative that seems to be growing yeah, that there is a split. Yes. Uh, so, wrong strategy. Well, uh, but there is a risk, Bwana Kimani Wamatangi, there is a risk <coughs> for the president politically, if at all he now uh, changes the discussion from the Big Four agenda to now talking about 2022 presidential uh, succession. That if at all he comes back and says, yes, I still support William Ruto, he has already done it. Does he really need to do it again this time? Um, uh, Fred, uh, just a few things, and uh, my colleague here says he leaves this to me. <laughs> <laughs> though, though it's national politics <laughs> and about national leadership, and Boni Halwale is a national le leader, and uh, so he, I mean uh, I, I respect what you say, but you should have a word on everything, <laughs> <laughs> as you have always had. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Fred, I, I think I, w I want to say that at, at great risk. To, to a lot of achievements made and, and to uh, the, the, the intact form and format that the party is in, most of us are talking too much, unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that talking too much has got to stop. Mm -hmm. yeah, because because you, know, you, you find that there's a lot of, we are becoming too verbose on, 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 on matters that few of us don't even know anything about. And, and you find that just somebody shoots from that corner and, and comes up with something uh, and says and drops a big story. And, and I'll tell you, in politics, one thing that happens, my colleague here may also have a word on this, is especially when you have a lot of new political entrants and some of them are seeking a big story to make a big name instantly. Mm -hmm. uh, and when something like this comes up, everybody is looking for space to drop the next bomb and say something uh, shaking and so that their names will be in the headlines. And, and I want to, uh, to say to our colleagues, especially, and, and I'm speaking about ourselves from the level of downwards from the two, the president and the, and the deputy. Because, uh, and I want to break this down very quickly. See, see, Fred, let's be factual about one thing. Jubilee Party is not a party of only Central Kenya and Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. It isn't. Just before the elections, you remember, in Kasarani at Bombers of Kenya, we collapsed more than 14 parties to form Jubilee from every corner of this country, carrying every uh, national, uh, every, every community on board. And that is who Jubilee is. Now, now in, in this discussion that is starting now to be shaped the way it is, it's making Jubilee lose its national appeal. And, 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 and that is detrimental mm -hmm. to who we have been and what we have fought to be. And, and that's why first I say there has to be silence now from, from most of these people who are talking. And, and two, we are to, talking too much on behalf of two, two people who are talking a different language. On this issue that you have raised, 
would indeed be a distraction for the president because he has his eyes fully focused on 2022, and that is right. But if you listen to the deputy president himself, that is the same thing he's saying. For every time you have heard him speaking, he himself from his mouth, he's speaking about 2022. Now the problem is that the rest of us around here are talking a different language. We are the ones who are talking about what are you saying, tell us about uh, what you think about the, the, the DP, and, and, and uh, tell us, uh, DP, what are you thinking about the president? That, that is coming from down under. And, and, and I want to finalize that by just putting this in clear perspective. That the question of our focus on the big four as contained in our promise to the people of Kenya is not negotiable on our will and intent to deliver on it. Okay. Two, the fact that the deputy president is sitting right now as the principal assistant to the president and is a candidate and will be a candidate for 2022 is not second guessed. It will be a reality as long as God keeps him alive. Now, so, so this, 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 is the, this is the narrative that the two is not a question of either or or. It is a question of and. Okay. And, and they can only move together, the two. But the focus has got to firmly remain Senator, on delivering on the very promises well that we made to the people. Very well said. As, as far as uh, but this, it appears the manifest the for Jubilee is concerned. The kind of wrangling that you're seeing now, or yes. the kind of discussions that you're saying, you may call it noise, there's too much talking, uh, has a potential to affect the big four. Absolutely. In fact, it is slowing down uh, that. Yes. Don't you think that a remedy should be uh, given now? And probably the remedy, uh, as suggested by them, is uh, for the president to restate his position with regard to 2022. I, I, would, I, would, say, I would say, and I, I'm, a, I'm a firm proponent, proponent of, of what we earlier proposed. There be either a retreat or a parliamentary group meeting, but a retreat was the, was, was the latest proposal, which is still acceptable whereby people can be allowed to ventilate discuss those issues internally agree on them and 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 and, and quell the, the 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 inquiries of many mm -hmm. but 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 as you have said yes it has the potential to defray or derail the the, the focus and momentum and 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 that is not in the interest of anyone neither in uh, the the interest of kenya as a country neither in the interest of 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 the real reason that the president has his last four years before he leaves his legacy and it has to be done and also the fact that the deputy president is sitting and awaiting for that particular time but this time he has to assist the president do you think it will happen you know, to be able to do you think it, it will happen that the president will come out and restate uh, his position with regard to 2022 that is entirely upon him but as do you think uh, it, uh, do you think there's a possibility it could happen anytime this year i don't think so because it would, it would be a foolish thing to do. It is a uh, debt amount to a man and his wife. I'm not saying the, the two mm -hmm. guys are, one is a woman, another one is a man. It's that amount to a man and his wife arguing and the husband saying, I want you to come out and tell the public once and for all that this child is mine. Mm -hmm. The moment the woman calls and says, this child belongs to this guy, people start saying, ha ha. Mm -hmm. So there is that possibility that the child was not this guy's child after all. There's an adage here that says that if you have something where you wanted it to be, you better leave it there. Just leave it there. So at the moment, the deputy president is sitting pretty. The president should encourage a status whereby we leave it there. If we don't leave it there, what is going to happen? Mm -hmm. The loser is going to be the president, and the winner is going to be the deputy president. Why? Because the president, in that confusion, he will lose on his four, big four agenda items, and he will have no legacy mm -hmm. to leave for the 10 years he will have served us. Yes. So he will have lost big time. But on the other hand, if I may follow up the issue of uh, a retreat, do, don't forget that while the president is busy doing executive works in State House and in Harambe office, Deputy President is virtually all over the country in constituencies, in counties, in regions, and during those visits, he sits with members of parliament. Mm -hmm. So he 
he has already created a rapport with members of the parliament so that as the big four collapse because of the rapport that the deputy president has created with these people then he will ride on that to have success at 2022 if he doesn't have a strong opponent from in the name of Kalonzo Msioka, Wetangula, mm -hmm. and Mudabadi. Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah, you agree, yeah, yeah. do you agree that the president's <laughs> influence, in as far as a, a Jubilee Party parliamentary group, yes. that the president's influence compared to that of his deputy yes. is much lower now? Yes, no, absolutely not. I, I, would, I would say this. <coughs> you, you know, uh, one, we have to, to, to define clearly that the two have and may have, and it, characteristically, it is, that, that happens in all pairs whether it is in deputy governor and governor, president, deputy president, that you may have a difference of style in execution of whatever role or mandate you have. That, that, that's, that, 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 that's the way it, it happens. And so you don't have to be, uh, you know, two parts of the same coin or, or the same piece uh, to, to be able to execute. But, you know, on, on this, uh, on, on the assertion by, by, by my colleague here that, for example, that the deputy president is all over uh, here and there and building influence. And has and, and, better and, and, influences. Uh, fine. Uh, listen, uh, my brother. The point is that actually when the deputy president himself is going out, he is going out still with a clear intent, with a clear reason and purpose uh, that he is promoting the same, same agenda as the president. That is a big four. The president has uh, the duty and the responsibility to steer it all, to steer the whole ship. And he doesn't have to keep going out himself. And, 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 and it is in that distinct, uh, distinctness of, of, of the two styles that you have success. And you know, I've said this, Fred, before. I'll say it again. You know, Jubilee, for us to succeed and we shall succeed, we don't need to go looking far for a template which to follow to succeed. We already have the template the template of 2013 to 2017. Okay. That's what we followed. Now look at this headline, Jubilee plans retreat to rally behind, uh, to rally members behind the Big Four agenda. And they're quoting, uh, as the story goes on, they're quoting, uh, reports of divisions in the party has been, had been publicized by an incensed Senate majority leader, Kipchumba Murkomen, who late last month told Citizen TV, and they're quoting a show on Citizen TV, that there was a struggle in the party with those seen to support Deputy President William Ruto being castigated for allegedly undermining the president. Now that probably is why this is slowing down, or rather uh, slowing down the uh, implementation of the big four. Don't you think that this is a big problem? Well, uh, uh, And this is uh, coming from a person no less than the Senate Majority Leader. You, you know, is your boss in, uh, 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 in the Senate? I, 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 I'll tell you that um, you know, we all have different views on, on, on different issues. So you don't and, agree and, with and, the Senate and, Majority and, Leader? And, and, and uh, listen, listen uh, Fred, uh, that um, we are all politicians. And, and from the president downwards to the deputy president, senators, governors, MCAs, gov and, and deputy governors, we are holders of political offices. And we arrive to that office via a political journey, which you have your own ideals, your own philosophy. And, and, and so we don't have to see things the same way. Mm -hmm. I believe verily that the strength of Jubilee, the strength of the party, and what this country needs to see more uh, is a team or a group of people who are able to resolve those issues, then emerge out with one solution, but not necessarily. And Fred, if you want to hear it again, I'll say this. So there are issues. No, let, me, let, me, let me say this for, for, for even our viewers to understand. It is not intended. It was never envisaged. It is not even supposed to be so that every time that the two would have to agree on everything. Mm -hmm. No, they don't have to. It, 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 neither do we, all of us. We don't have to. It is not even in our, in, in, in our agreement, our coalition agreement. Mm -hmm. Neither is it in the manifesto of Jubilee. The, 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 the vibrancy, the, the, the real life of, of the party is when you have those uh, opposing or, 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 or contesting views. And then, but eventually you are able to say that this is then what takes precedence. And this is what but is good for, for, for the country. But that is one thing that Jubilee said they agree <coughs> on, and that's a succession plan that that is, was not to be questioned at any point. And as far as succession was concerned, that was clear cut. It's, now, it's, 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 Men alleged that the existence of a clique of what he said were powerful civil servants in the office of the president whose sole purpose is to block the DP's 2022 state house beat. You know, the, 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 neither the president nor the, the deputy president are in their office courtesy to a clique or to a cartel. <coughs> They're in office courtesy to the votes of more than 
6.7 million okay. Kenyans who chose that, that they stand for what they believe in. And by virtue of our democracy, those two are sitting in office. But, uh, hello, and, and so a cartel or a clique yes. will have zero or no impact sure. on, on, on the way forward. Yes. You see, if, if you ask me, uh, I'll tell you as a member of Jubilee, that, that the more we give in to, 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 to side shows, you know, you know, you know to inconsequential players on the sidelines who will be making too much noise or saying too many things, mm -hmm. Uh, then, then you find they divert our attention. They, 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 that's how we become. Bona Haloli, are we wasting our time with these headlines about Jubilee? Do we think it's such a small issue that does not have any effect on uh, the public? Because there are those who feel that uh, whatever happens with, with Jubilee could eventually determine what happens to the country in terms of will the president be able to uh, roll out his agenda and actually be effective with it. But uh, listening to Jubilee politicians, they seem to say, no, we are or concentrating, making too much noise, talking too much about nothing. Do you agree with them? It's going to become even louder for many reasons, but uh, possibly because the space, the political space is now being occupied by only one party, mm -hmm. Jubilee. When uh, we mismanaged NASA, and w my humble understanding is that NASA has collapsed, mm -hmm irredeemably and you you're saying that as a deputy party leader for oh, Fort kenya yes yes it has uh, collapsed irredeemably we have now left the political space to jubilee alone mm -hmm. and therefore it's going to get louder because it is what happens in jubilee that will dictate the future mm -hmm. of the country mm -hmm. number two i want to congratulate kibitumba murkomen i don't always agree with him on many things but I am not to panic, to learn from history. The fact that William Ruto is being fought is in itself a confirmation that he's the front runner. If he is the front runner, then we learn from history that he must be fought, especially as we approach 2022. Mm -hmm. We all remember in this country how Moi was fought as Kenyatta's deputy to the extent that there was the change the constitution mm -hmm. group. Wamatangi remembers that. No. That did not stop Moi from becoming president. Yes. We all remember how in the lead up to the first multi-party e election, uh, not to the first multi-party, to the, the, to the first election after Moi, how Professor George Saitoti was fought because Moi, the system wanted Uhuru to come in Saitoti's place mm -hmm. who was deputy. So I want to urge Rift Valley MPs who seem to be loud on this to be more on tactics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.